Like a cinnamon bun in a cup. This is summer after all. We need to appreciate things in life more, you know? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with another video. I have a couple of events to attend to this week, so I'm taking you with me as usual. So I'm in the east part of London right now, which is a very rare occasion because I don't really know this part of town, but I have several places that I always love to visit. So the first street I like to visit is Fulgate Street uh, because of all these houses. By the way, this is a museum I'm yet to visit. And also this renovated houses. And of course, Elder Street. I think this is one of my absolute favorites in this area. Just look at the street. It's it's basically like a film set. You just need to remove all those modern cars, leave leave old cars, and you got it. What do you think, guys? <laughs> this is so pretty. Again, this is not a film set. Real people live here. Can you imagine? <laughs> this is crazy. Gosh, it is chilly today. I mean, lots of you ask me about the weather, um, but <laughs> this is weird. It is the second week of June and it's still very cold in the morning, then it's hot during the midday and then it's cold in the evening again so basically I'm wearing layers all the time I'm wearing this jumper so I'm wearing my jumper from Arquette it is quite warm as you can see I'm wearing jeans, flats and vest underneath so in case it's cold I have a jumper on in case it's hot I can take it off and be in my vest so that's it, that's the weather in London and I'm in Shoreditch right now as you can see there are lots of murals here this one is quite famous, I think it's been here like at least for 10 years. Okay guys, are you ready? One more place I wanted to visit for a while. It's Romeo and Juliet mural. So this Romeo and Juliet mural marks the site of original Shakespearean theater before the globe where the tragic love story was first performed back in 16th century and look who's sitting here Mr. William Shakespeare himself oh okay he's right and I'm gay Okay, so I had a lovely walk in the morning, I met my friend Julia Hiya. and um, you may know that I have an Instagram page, uh, My London, I'm curating it. So we've been invited to Salvador Dali exhibition today and also, I'll show you later. <laughs> Okay, so the exhibition is done and now we're off to the Speedfield market. I saw someone was reading this book today in the train. <laughs> Hi. 
Humble Crumble invited us to try their new summer peach cooler crumble with frozen custard. And I love their original crumble so much, but this one is something else. And with the proper summer weather like we have in London right now, this is the perfect summer treat to beat the heat. Okay guys, so now we're about to try probably the best chai in London. This is it guys, this is Chai Guys. They have masala chai, kadak chai, kesar chai. Lots of yummy buns. And they have ice chai as well. I think this is where they're preparing their chai. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Okay, so guys, it is indeed one of the best chais I've ever tried in London. But mind you, it is very hot. <laughs> so hot, it's so good. It's like cinnamon bun in a cup. Yeah, I agree. It's actually really, really tasty. I love it. I love hot tea. Yeah? Why I cannot kill the dragon? <laughs> So it's one o'clock, everyone is out having their lunch, takeaways, picnics. We decided to join them. Look how lovely it is it's around Spitfields Market. Also, guys, if you're in the area of Spitfields Market, you have to come and see the remains of St. Mary's Chapel and Channel House. So basically, from the Spitfields Market, you're going downstairs and you'll see this. Look at these excavations. This is insane. This is the part of the medieval history of London. This is so cool. You know, I'm a fan of Italian food and we're just passing by Italy and I've never been there. Have you been there? No, never. Okay, we need to go there. Wow, look at the stairs they have here. So nice, like it. Okay, first of all, it's much bigger than I expected it to be. Oh my god, it's huge. Here they have La Scuola school where they can teach you how to cook. I doubt it. <laughs> Restaurants, pasta e pizza, cucina del mercato, terra. Uh, they have a market, il vino department and fresh counters. So here we have salumi, formaggi, cheese and sausages, also la pescheria, where you can get fresh fish and seafood. I love the packaging of this oil. Let's try Salame crudo. If I'm ever hungry around Liverpool station, I know now where to come. Oh my god, look at the amount of salami here. This is insane. Mm. Mortadella. They sell guanciale here. See? For carbonara. Oh, I love this candy so much. Amaretti. Uh, I think last time I got them from TK Maxx. So good. I love these biscuits too. Molina Bianco, Pandistella. Also guys, if you love Nutella, I suggest you to try uh, Italian Gianduia because it's much better. It's with hazelnuts and real chocolate, no palm oil. These are my favorites. Bacci, kisses. Mm. <laughs> Okay, fresh produce, freskissimi, uh, pasta, colorful farfalle, my favorite sauce in the world, pesto genovese, look at this, mm. il sapore delle tradizioni ligure, oh my god, it's so green, look at this, something I really like, 
chips with truffle patatine tartufo it really has tartufo yeah and the price is 490 okay guys and here we have the wine il vino veritas <laughs> Baba al limoncello. Um, I love Baba with rum. I never tried the one with limoncello. I'm pretty sure it's really good. Uh, the price is 19.90. If you don't want to try Janduya spread, you can try um, just one candy. This is the size of it. Yeah, but this is Maxi Janduyot. You can you can actually try the small ones. They're really good. So we almost missed this um, La Via del Dolce. So basically it's a road of sweets. This is a very dangerous territory, you guys. Look at all the sweets and candies. What is this? <laughs> Bocconcini. No. These are Venki candies. You probably know uh, they have lots of Venki stores in London. I'm back to South London and it is unbearably hot right now so no more layers for me but for those of you who ask me what to pack for summer in London I'd say sunscreen and layers you know just to just make sure you're ready for any kind of weather Hi everyone, it's me again. Um, so I started my day very early in the morning today because I need to quickly shoot several videos for the client. Uh, now I'm standing next to Big Ben. Hi Big Ben! Because <laughs> I'm waiting here for my friend Julia to come here and help me to film several clips. She's here, my savior! <laughs> Okay, so guys, we finished with video content, we sent it all to client for approval and now I'm feeling kind of packish. I think it's time to have proper breakfast. Yeah. And I know just the place. Toilet check. Um, despite all the weather, I'm wearing all black. <laughs> Not the best choice, I guess. Um, this is the best top from H&M, I think. Yeah, and white trousers from Arcade, in case you're wondering. And sandals from Zara. So we came to Old Queen Street Cafe, and let me show you what we ordered. So we ordered smoked salmon with scrambled eggs and toasts. Same breakfast, um, cappuccino, halloumi on the side, and immunity booster juice. Um, what do you have? What's the name of this? Is it, uh, sunshine Coast? Mm, sunshine Coast, okay. I think it's carrot juice or something. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's turmeric, by the way. This one is definitely spinach. Is it carrot juice? Okay, that's good. And also we ordered French bakewell toasts because we were recommended to try this. They said it's really good. So we're done with our breakfast, it was so good guys, it was so delicious. I can highly recommend this place, I mean there's nothing like it around Westminster area. It's a really nice place guys, it's very homey I guess and cozy. So yeah, if you're around near Big Ben, Westminster Abbey, make sure to pop in here.
Hi again, today is Sunday and I'm at London Bridge. I have an event to attend to, I need to make lots of videos to post on my Instagram page and also to send to the brand so they can use it. And it's scorching hot today, it's sizzling plus 30, I feel like I'm gonna melt, but that's okay. This is summer after all, we need to appreciate things in life more, you know? Also guys, I'm keeping it real, okay? I'm trying to keep it real. And this is the festival, the Bloom Big Festival and um, I booked for several workshops today. I think it's wine tasting and um, paper flower crowns too. They're just getting started, nobody's here yet. But this is the venue. They have a photo booth here as well, sun beds, lots of tables and bars. And I think uh, this is where the wine tasting takes place. So the festival is taking place in Sour Quarter, in case you're interested. I think it's annual festival, it's right next to Shard. And again, I'm waiting for Julia, my partner in crime, Team My London, so she, she can help me to film everything. And we need to post today, basically. We need to film quickly, we need to edit quickly, and we need to post it. Uh, this is the sampling bar and you can try uh, six wines for eight pounds. I think it's a great deal to be honest you guys. You guys are getting ready, lots of buckets with ice. And this is my outfit of the day. I'm almost wearing all white. White dress um, and this shirt just in case I'm gonna get burned white sandals um, they're my recent purchase I got them from H&M and they're really really good video i hope you liked it and i'll see you soon bye